This is a 52 inch antique brass hunter original. Um, and according to the serial number, it's from 1986. And I got this off of Craigslist. And it cost me $40. And the guy delivered it, so you know, I think it's a pretty good deal. And, um, you know, it's got the nice wing tip blades on it. Um, which just look very good. And uh, it's antique brass. And it's got a, um, a five bulb light kit on it. You can see it's missing the center shade, so I don't have a light bulb in the middle. Um, but I'll be getting a shade for the middle part from Jeremy Mulligan here in a little while. And it looks just like the other four except bigger. It just hangs from the middle. And then I'll put a bulb in there. And I have incandescents, but I'm a fan of CFLs, so eventually we'll get CFL bulbs in there. I know some of you don't like CFL bulbs, but whatever. Anyway, it's a great fan. It runs pretty well. There's a slight wobble to it, but it's nothing to concern myself over. Um, and, uh, you know, the light works and stuff. And it's hanging on a Westinghouse safety brace box. It's not, you know, screwed to the wood or anything. Those boxes are rated for, I think, 100 pounds on 16-inch joists, and that's what we have. So, you know, not worried about it. Anyway, I'm going to flip the switch over here. You can see it lights all up. And I'll pull the appropriate chains here. First, turn off the light. And then we'll turn on the fan. Runs pretty quiet. Needs to be oiled though, you know. It's, it's dry. I need to go to Lowe's and get some of that oil to put in there. And yeah, you can see it does wobble a little bit. And the light, you know, it's shaking. One thing that concerns me is how loose this is. You can see it just spins. I don't like that. I don't know why that is. So maybe someone can tell me if I need to tighten something or not. Um, but anyway, I don't know, I was just going to chill out up there. It's not going to fall off or anything, I hope. Oh, that's high. This would be medium. Still definitely feel it. And being that it is installed in the formal dining room, we'll probably have it on low, usually. Because you don't want to be a little draft in here or anything while you're eating. But we had a chandelier in here. It was kind of art deco style. It had a bunch of glass panels hanging on. You know. Like this. And uh, that's one of the bigger sizes. They got smaller and they just went out on all four sides. But this is nicer. <coughs> I'm not going to reverse it because the uh, reverse switch is all the way up on the top of the motor and I don't feel like climbing around here too. To get it. We have our furniture stored in here right now. See? Because that's the furniture for our formal living room, which I'm repainting at the moment. We scraped all that popcorn crap off the ceiling and I'm starting to prime it. But I ran out of primer, so I figured now would be the perfect opportunity to film this. Not slow, you see, it's nice and slow. And then there's off and then you can see the spin down time. I'm excited to have a Hunter original in my house. A great, 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 great fans. Um, I had 
a couple in my old, old house, the one I lived in before the one I was in this one. And um, two 36 inch ones, brown brass in my room, and regular bright brass in my older brother's room. Those got left with the house, and then the people that owned that house, because it was a rental, after we moved out, they replaced them with like great and twos or something like that, something crappy. Uh, and I died a little on the inside when that happened. But anyway, there's, a, there's, there's that fan. So, uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed.